guys let me like straighten this out this wig looks very wiggy don't come for me i have never worn a wig before but i want to try one out so i just kind of threw this one on i tried my best to make it look natural obviously i wouldn't wear it out unless it did look natural but this is just a video it's fine so today i'm doing a back to school get ready with me and i feel so weird i'm so used to like only my hair on my head so this is weird this is weird but i'm gonna start like wearing wigs because i want to life is short do what you want to do asked you guys on twitter to ask me questions and i love twitter you guys i tweeted for you guys to ask me questions for get ready with me and i already have 31 questions in 20 minutes and that's a lot for me i'm just gonna answer questions while getting ready and this is definitely more about the chit chat than the get ready with me because Lord knows my makeup skills need some help. Um, okay. So as you guys know, I like to start with my eyebrows. I just use this random smoky eye palette from MAC, this spoolie, and then an angled brush. I use the brown color, obviously. How do you feel about starting college and living in LA? So I came here about two weeks ago, I want to say, or maybe just a week ago. I don't know. But I didn't really enjoy myself. I think it's just because I wasn't ready, but now that I've come back, I'm really enjoying Los Angeles. I was driving the other day, and I just felt so peaceful. Like, just looking at the trees and everything just makes me happy. Oh, gosh. Why did I decide to do this? Okay. At first, I really wasn't feeling it. I just felt like it could never be home. But now that I've come back, I really think it's where I like to be, so yeah. So this is a question I get a lot, but it's, are you and Will dating? Are you and Will together? Uh, no, we're not together. Regardless of what we seem like online, we're just friends. I consider him one of my closest friends. We're both single, so I guess if we're flirty with each other, then that's why, because like, we're literally not tied down to anyone but i don't have feelings for him he doesn't have feelings for me my eyebrows are not looking really great right now i need to darken them up just because my hair is not this dark and like shiny looking wiggy looking so i'm just gonna make my eyebrows a little darker this thing is an ardell dark brown pencil with a spoolie on the other side what's the most difficult slash time consuming part of making your videos i would definitely say it depends on the video so if i'm filming like a lookbook those take me like that to edit but to film them takes me a really long time just because i'm really picky about the shots and stuff just sit down videos like this one i can get those out really fast but it definitely just depends on the video. Sometimes I feel like making editing really nice, and then sometimes I just make my editing super, super simple. How do you grow out such perfect eyebrows? <laughs> my friend Audrey asked me this. My eyebrows are kind of thin. They're very long, though. The hairs are long, but they're just kind of sparsy, you know? I've always had pretty bushy eyebrows going up. I plucked so much of them off sophomore year, which was just a terrible idea i don't know why i did that i don't know if you guys like these videos i highly doubt it just because i'm not a beauty guru um i know how to make myself look nice it's just that oh shoot definitely know how to make myself look presentable but just the whole beauty thing is not really my thing i conceal my eyebrows sometimes but to do it i just use this nyx corrector concealer palette thing it's pretty good I don't have much to compare it to. It's one of the only concealers that's somewhat matched my skin. All the other concealers I've used have been trash. So, this is what I do with my eyelashes if I'm extra and want to do the most. So, I just take this curler and curl them, even though they're already curled. I use this great lash. Focus, focus. I know you want to. I know you want to. I, okay, I don't think she wants to. But I just use this Great Lash Maybelline Clear Transparent stuff. I don't even know what this is called. I just use this to set my eyebrows in place. Sometimes I put it on my lashes. I don't even know if there's a difference with me putting this on or not putting it on, but I do it anyway. What are your favorite kind of videos to make? I love making lookbooks, like planning them out and making them. They're my favorite videos to see like the final product of. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara for my eyelashes. I prefer Lancome mascara, but this one does the job. In order for me to actually wear mascara, here's my thing. If I'm gonna wear mascara, 
I'm gonna wear a lot of mascara or otherwise I'm not wearing mascara. <laughs> Since I've been in LA, I've just been avoiding mascara in general. Sorry, I get mascara all over my eye. It's ridiculous, but <laughs> just ignore that. I'll take it off. Whoa, this looks so scary. I'll be right back. I gotta get a, uh... what do I need to get? Oh, a Q-tip, yep, yeah, uh-huh. So if I didn't mention before, this wig is from Wow African. I really, really like it. It feels great. It came great. I'm just excited about this wig because I feel like once I figure out how to wear it, it can look really, really good. After I'm done with my eyelashes, I just take some lotion in my hand. I put some at the end of the Q-tip and I just clean it up around. Jordan asks, how much do you miss me? I miss you a lot, girl. Like, it's just different. There's no one saying, hey, you want to go hang out, get brunch, take cute pictures? This is after I put mascara and eyebrows on. I think I look decent, you know? I usually go in with my Becca highlighter. I'm gonna blind you. I'm gonna blind you. My Becca highlighter in the shade... In the shade... What? In the shade Opal. And I take this eyeshadow brush from Real Techniques and I just put it on my nose and then kind of like blend it with my finger. That's what I've always done. Actually, I think I'm going to try faux freckles for this look. Should I? I should because, I mean, we have time. Why not? So for these faux freckles, I'm just going to use this quick liner from Clinique and just kind of go in, go ham, you know. Um, I've never done faux freckles before, but I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. So now we can finish the highlight and I'm just going to use this brush instead. I usually just blend it with my fingers. I don't know if it looks good. I just do it and then get the other side. This is the most makeup I've worn in a really long time, actually. But, you know, we're going big or going home today. Also going to put a little highlight right here. Yes. 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 The last step is just going to be putting some lip gloss on. Um, If you guys know me, lip product is not my thing. I think I look like a clown in lipstick. So I just sip to chapstick and then occasionally I'll put lip gloss on. This clear lip gloss is from Target. It's the Essence XXL Shine. It's just the clear lip gloss. They have a ton of clear lip gloss there. Let me just pull this wig down a little bit. Okay. So now moving on to this hair. Um, I mean, I think I'm just going to comb it out. Maybe I'll just put this behind and put this in front. <laughs> Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed talking to you guys. I know this look is really simple, but it's super cute. And you know, everyone's about the lip gloss, mascara, no face makeup thing right now. I mean, I don't wear face makeup anyway, but if you like the wig that I'm wearing, it'll be linked down below. But yeah, that's it for this video. I'm going to show you guys my outfit. It's this dress from Zara and I love it. <laughs> I think it's more of a t-shirt, but I wear it as a dress and then my choker. My choker is from nikd.com. You guys ask me all the time where I get it from and that's where it's from. There's hair in my mouth. Okay. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.